there, welcome to the Teeny Tinkers channel. I make ball jointed doll and craft related content. Today I wanted to make another polymer clay doll. Um, I started one a while ago and then I didn't like it and I threw it out. I don't know, it, it wasn't coming out the way I wanted to. So I just wanted to start over. And uh, you all seem to really like the video I did making the little clover. So I thought I would do another little polymer clay doll again today. I don't like to spend too long on polymer clay BJDs um, because I like the safety of sculpting in 3D. This is because if I made a polymer clay doll that I fell in love with um, and I wanted to have cast, it's like so scary to send your only master like into the wild. Um, super spoopy for me, so um, I prefer to 3D model and print but I do like to every now and again come back to it and uh, sculpt a doll with some little sculpty tools and um, more polymer clay than any one person would ever need but um, I have a ton of it left the last time I made something I made like little clay things for my diorama which is an absolute mess back there don't look at it too hard It heard me say that, something fell. So we're gonna do this the way we did clover where we kind of hollow it out as we go. Um, so I've got some tools here. Um, I'm just going to pull these open. I, I actually forget about these tools pretty consistently, but um, basically it's just a bunch of stuff that looks like this and an eyebrow razor. I very obviously use everything else. So I'm gonna pull all those guys out. Uh, the first part of this is softening the clay and that takes a hot minute. All right, so the clay I'm using is original Sculpey. Um, you can buy it in bulk, obviously. Um, and it just whites. It's just white. Um, I do prefer Sculpey Living Doll, but I often have a hard time getting a hold of that. Um, I've tried ordering it from Amazon a couple times and it always comes like super either expired or like impossible to soften up. Uh, and I've tried like softeners, I've tried liquid Sculpey, and sometimes it's just beyond repair. Um, so I don't order Sculpey from Amazon anymore because I don't trust them. So I'm gonna start softening this up and I'll come back when I'm done that because this takes eons. So I've got my clay like mainly softened up. I'm probably gonna need more than this to be honest, but this is enough to get me started. Um, it's like maybe a third of the block. Uh, this is gonna be like a six scale doll. It's just gonna be a little guy. So, or a little girl, probably, probably a girl. Oh, I always forget something. Beads, wooden beads are gonna be your best friend. You want those, get them. I think I need to invest in some bigger ones because I feel like I thought these were bigger than they were but I'll just grab a bunch of the bigger ones. I'm not gonna be able to use these for like hips, but I should be able to use these to help ball out like um, shoulder sockets. All right, so I have grabbed a chunk of the clay. It's a pretty good size. Um, maybe a ball about this big. And try and smooth it out, warm it up. I'm going to kind of flatten it a little bit. Not super flat, but kind of into kind of like a rectangle. Not like it doesn't have to be a perfect rectangle. I'm just trying to get this to happen. So we have this like little block and about halfway down the block, I'm gonna start squeezing just a little and give it more of a peanut shape. Uh, this is going to serve as chest and hips. So like the torso piece, and it looks like this. We've already got kind of a chest shape starting. Um, at this point, so we're starting, this is kind of like the block in. Um, so we're just trying to make it vaguely look people, vaguely people, um, and kind of put things where they need to go. I'm also going to grab the top here and I'm just going to go ahead and pinch. Uh, then I'm going to grab, kind of do the same thing, but kind of 
the opposite, I guess. I'm going to, I like to hold it by the waist with my fingers and then use my thumbs to kind of press in on either side. And the purpose of this is to kind of pull a hip shape and a thigh socket. This might be a little more extreme than I intended, but we can scale it back, mess with it. Clay is malleable. All right, so now that it's kind of this shape, so now that I kind of have it this shape, I'm gonna go ahead and add, I'm gonna go ahead and add beads here and here. Uh, the beads aren't going to serve as anything much right now, but it's basically to mark where I'm gonna be putting the shoulders. About there looks right. Um, I'm probably gonna have to do some fixing on this back, but I don't wanna mess with it too much because I'm going to be cutting it up pretty shortly. At this point, I'm going to cut the torso. Um, so I'm gonna cut kind of right across here to give it a two-part torso and then add a ball in um, as the joint. So um, I like to do tummy balls a lot. So um, I don't know if I wanna do a full tummy ball, but um, I've started basically using spheres balls as like my main kind of shape I work with. Now you can do this a lot of different ways. Um, a lot of people use things like straws um, or like sometimes I use a core. Uh, I'm just was feeling whimsical today, so I didn't use a core this time, but you can absolutely make a core out of like something like tinfoil or like floral foam. Um, I do have a video where I made a BJD base a while ago. Um, it looks like this. Um, but I show like how I made the core and stuff on that one. If you want to make it with a core, if not. Uh, and then I've got the tor bottom part of the torso like this. I'm just going to pull the ends up. All right, so left with something that looks a bit like this. It's got like a rounded top, a groin. And then the uh, chest piece is obviously too wide, but I need to kind of hollow that out anyways. Okay, and you can already see where the beads are kind of meeting. We're gonna try and keep those in there for now. I don't know how long they're gonna be in there, but. So I've kind of designated this part the front because it's like kind of flat and smooth. Um, and then this part the back because it raises up a little the way I've cut it. I'm also gonna grab this guy. Kind of twist this slowly because I really don't want to like yeah. must this up. All right, and at this point, and they're hollow through. And then the arms are basically, they just need to be smooth. Stick them together. You can see that there's a bit of a lip. Um, that's gonna happen at least a little bit. It's just what it does. But um, we can definitely trim that down a little. I'm going to also hollow out this piece while I'm at it. Uh, grabbing a round tool, kind of just smoothing. And again, I'm going to grab one of these tools and kind of hollow her out. Okay, and I'm gonna just also make the channels from the hips. I'm gonna go right from the middle of the socket and push up until I kind of meet that hole in the middle. So now I have a piece that looks like this. You can see that it's got um, the channels hollowed out. The whole point of why I'm doing it like this is so that I don't have to cut it open later. Uh, polymer clay can be such a pain to get cut open. Um, air dry clay, much easier. Doll clay, paper clay, um, in my opinion, much easier to cut. Um, I'm doing it like this so I don't have to cut it. Um, and I'm not gonna put too, too much detail in these pieces because this is uh, kind of the base and you can sculpt more on top of it. Um, okay, so we have this piece and this piece. And it does look like this piece is sitting nicer on top. I'm going to trim it down a little, especially on the sides here, uh, just to give it like a nicer transition between the two. Kind of like that. See, it's a little smoother from the front. Um, now we're going to do the same thing um, here in the back. So I'm also going to carve a little bit out from like the spine between the shoulder blades. Just do like a little nick. Okay, 
So um, this is what the pieces are looking like right now. Again, um, these are very, very simplistic. Um, I've added a little bit of a collarbone shaping, um, a little bit of a hip shaping. Um, so that's gonna be our torso pieces for the time being. Yeah, so what we're gonna do now is just make some basic um, arm and leg tubes, and um, then we can try and roughly fit them. And grabbing a little more of this clay, all these pieces I cut out that are nice and warmed up and soft. So um, this is like the base guide for the size of the arms. And then let's grab an even one, it's like consistently the same size throughout. So I'm gonna go until it looks like a short arm. It's gonna be a little skinny too, and that's obviously not nearly long enough, but I'm... Okay, that looks pretty good. So uh, this is going to be my, um, I guess I'll just make another one like that quickly, and then um, we'll do the next part of the arm. All right, so I've got two kind of like this. Um, the other part of this is going to be um, the forearm. Got them picking up all kinds of like the little pieces. But yeah, um, then I'm gonna do the forearms. So it's the same thing, but um, you don't need to leave like the bigger part at the top, if that makes sense. So a little shorty piece. All right, so these are the pieces I've got. Um, the forearms so how I would do this is I would make the elbows the only thing with polymer clay is like the elbows have to be so small and then making the like the hole in them so um it's a pain so two little balls and then um, I'll grab one of my ones like this and kind of just the hole through it Pretty big elbow peanut, but um, polymer clay is a pin in my butt, so we're gonna make it a pretty big elbow peanut. And then I'm gonna do another one. Okay, so we've got two elbow peanuts now too. So now I have to cut some of these pieces. Um, the biceps need to go like this. So I'm going to cut here, and this is gonna give it the up and down movement so it can raise its arms. And then I'm going to kind of scoop out here, just a little bit. Uh, these guys are already kind of scooped out. I just made them like that. Um, and then grab the peanut, big peanut on the top. And I'm gonna scrape out some here. Make the slots or whatever. The string slot. Okay. Um, Make sure it goes all the way through and make sure it's wide enough to accommodate string. Kind of like that. And you're just gonna repeat that on the other side. Okay, so now I have the bottoms of the forearms and I need to save space for hands. And I'm going to trim the ends in kind of um, the way where it's rounded here. I'm gonna kind of round here. Now I don't need this to fit it's like right in. Um, it can sit a bit on the outside. That is fine. All right, legs. We haven't even got to the head yet. But, so legs are kind of the same thing um, in a way. So if I, again, ball, kind of like cylinder shape, roll one end down a little. Again, this is going to be just the basic thigh. You can cut it up and make it look better after. But for now, that's the shape. And I'm also, um, this is gonna be a single joint at the top of the thigh. Um, we're not doing a peanut for the thigh today, but I'm just going to cut my slot, string slot. Uh, the knee's gonna be fun. So I wanna do another one of those and soften some more clay. Okay, I've got um, a couple more balls softened up. These are gonna be the um, calves and the knee joints. Um, yeah, I am going to do single jointed knees because I'm sculpting in clay 
and they're most likely just going to live on a shelf after this. Okay, and then these are gonna be my knee joints when they're done, but we're gonna make the calves first. I'm gonna go ahead and just cut out the back. Does that make sense? Or should I? Maybe that's what I'll do. Okay. Just to make sure I can get them roughly the same length. So when I do knees, when I sculpt, I usually do them as a piece and then cut them. Um, so I'm gonna cut them straight. Um, so then what I normally do with calves, the shaping of this is not beautiful. This is not cute. Um, should I shape them down now? perfect shape no but there's a semblance of shape now um, you can see a bit curvier um, this one so now um, I'm going to make it so that the ball which is about this size will fit into here so you can see how that kind of sits in there now uh, and I'm gonna do the same thing for this side looking at the back of the calf um, putting it so that the front of the bone, like the front of the calf, which I'm going to just slightly adjust the shape of, thank you, and cut about 45 degrees, I guess, off the back, so that now it sits like this, and then should roll up to about there. So that thigh is fine, and then on the back of this, I'm going to go ahead and put that slice again. All right, and we're just gonna do that to the other one. All right, so I still have to make hands, feet, and a head. So I've got some put to the side for the head. I guess we can just, all right, so for feet, um, I'm just, oh, we're gonna need the uh, calves for this too. So get your calves ready. My two little balls, I'm gonna roll them out just a little. I'm gonna do some pretty simple feet for these guys, I think. And then I'm going to basically squish down where the toes go. So you get this like little bird looking thing. Press my thumb into the back. There. Okay, so feet kind of have um, a shape. So I'm gonna go ahead, feet have a shape. Surprise! Okay. Um, so I'm gonna go in the bottom of this one and kind of carve out. Um, just kind of like a dent make it a little more foot shaped and then I'm gonna do it on the other side. Okay, and then on the top of your feet, your toes should splay out. Um, okay, and I'm gonna keep pressing these down to make sure that they're like pretty flat because little feet like this. Um, I think I'm just gonna do um, the toes, if you know what I mean, where it's just like cut, cut, cut. Okay, wait, I'm gonna go into the bottom of the foot first and just kind of hollow out the sole of the foot. Or the arch, I guess you would call it, like the arch of the foot. Simple. And I'm just gonna go ahead and. And that's the, the kind of toes we're doing here, these little guys. And then on the top where this ball is, normally I would cut kind of like a slice out of it, a big one, and then put a rod through, but I'm not gonna put a rod through it because. Um, I don't have a rod to put through it, but I'm just going to, um, again, take one of these guys. So it kind of looks like this, because the string's gonna come like this, and the foot's gonna move like this. So then what you needed the calves for was, obviously they need to sit on there somehow, and uh, this is not happening. So again, I'm gonna look for a ball that's about the same size, um, and on the other, like obviously other one too, so that it fits over 
Rica. Hi there, just taking a quick break for Doll of the Week. I have indeed forgotten to do this for a few weeks, and I always forget to film this part, so I made this little animation thing for when I forget, but still want to do Doll of the Week. Anyways, uh, this week's Doll of the Week comes from BarbGirl1999 over on Instagram, who shared these super duper cute photos of her Bowie. Bowie is a teeny tiny from last year, and... Honestly, love the photos, love the styling, love the face up, super cute. Thank you so much for sharing and for tagging. If you would like to be considered for Doll of the Week, don't forget that you can either post a photo on Instagram and tag me, that is hashtag Teeny Tinkers Dolls, or at me at Teeny Tinkers. You can always DM me if you don't feel like posting the photo, but would still like to be posted for Doll of the Week as well. If you don't have Instagram, you can always email me through my website. All right, let's get back to the video. So that's feet, and then hands, we're gonna do the same thing, grab the forearms. I already kind of did this for the wrists with the little circles. I could have done it with the calves, but normally what I would do is kind of like build the palm and then attach fingers individually. But polymer clay says no, um, don't do that. If you have wire, you can make an armature. I wish I had wire on me. I would absolutely make an armature for this because um, that would make it way easier. But instead I'm gonna grab my little guy and I'm going to squeeze, or I'm gonna flatten it a little bit. Kind of like a little, little kind of like this little pancake. Um, that's where the fingers are gonna go. And then over here as well, we're obviously gonna have to cut the hand out because yeah. And I'm gonna do the same with this one. And then when I cut the hands, um, I mean, like you can look at your own hand as a reference. Uh, I find that helps, but I mean, we got some little flappers. And then I like to do the thumb first and round it off and kind of separate it a little. And then I'm gonna do that with the finger. So I'm gonna cut one, two, three, four. Um, trim a little off the pinky and the index finger. Ring finger, ring finger, not index finger. And I'm just separating them out a little bit just so I can kind of round out these like edges that are like square. <laughs> okay, so this would be if I like was leaving the hand. If I was leaving it wide open, I would leave it like this. Um, I think because it's polymer clay and I don't want it to break, I'm going to close it. Add a little more fat like shape back for the knuckle at the top because uh again i'm not getting too um detailed um and then i'm just gonna add a small ball to the wrist to attach it it's a little better for size um the thumb's looking a bit big but we'll just a couple little hands they're not the most beautiful hands you've ever seen but they are hands okay so that's a full body. Um, we still have a head to do. All right, so um, time to make a head. So I've got a really big lump of clay for this. I'm not going to end up using all of this because it's going to end up being scooped out. But um, I like big head dolls. I love big head dolls. They're my favorite. But yeah, I'm just starting out with a ball. And then um, it's like you make the ball like an egg. So you're gonna squeeze the sides of the head, little bit pancake, and from the top, it should look like maybe like this, and then this being the front, this being the back, more or less this far down, because I like a cute face. Um, younger or cuter faces, eyes are gonna be lower to the nose, more like halfway down the head versus an adult's eyes will be up here. Uh, you can do it however you want. This is just how I'm doing it. So I'm just kind of making like, a chop down the side, you can see, um, and shove them in. The uh, shape here is gonna, you're gonna kind of press with your fingers, I guess, and kind of bring this that way, bring this that way, not cut, but kind of pull this bit up. That is gonna be a big nose, because there's already a bit on the end there. Uh, I'm just going to put that right on top there. Also, also, yes, there are no eyelids. Okay, that's just 
how it is. Like at least for me, I'll be sculpting and then all of a sudden I have no fat left in my nose or my uh, cheeks. Kind of this like lip thing happening in the front. <laughs> this is so, this is so scary. Like a haunting from the front. Um, I keep just going back and forth between the nose and the lip. Just slowly making it look less and less terrifying. All right, so um, I think it's time to do a smooth and uh, get the eyes cut out. Um, that sounds pretty dark, but like just the shape I'm going for, because this, this is not the shape I'm going for. Hi, so I'm back. Um, the pieces are done curing. Uh, she looks all right. So the thing is, this video is already probably intensely long. So I don't know that I want to completely finish her in this video. So um, this is what the head ended up looking like. <laughs> it's giving like Hollow's cousin. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I was like, little weird elf. Um, look at the little weird elf. So it turned out all right. Um, there's definitely a lot of work I think I could do to improve it, like a lot of smoothing. Um, but I think in general, kind of cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and string this doll up. So I'm going to attempt to string her. Um, her eyes, I usually put like, I don't know, some kind of, here, let's get a light some kind of eye in there that I can pop out, but I was an idiot and I put resin ones in. <laughs> uh, they have melted into the head. So they are one with the head now, uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this and I'll be back to show her off. All right, so I've got her all done. I'm sorry I'm down here, but I want you to be able to see her. Um, she does look like weird little hollow 2.0. Um, not intentional. Oh, it wasn't intentional, but here we are. My desk is a freaking mess. Also, yes, her arms are way too long. I acknowledge this, it will be fixed. But um, this is how she came out. She really looks like hollow. Um, yeah, so I think what I would do is I would bring the hips out more to kind of go over the legs. She does stand though, so like, her proportions aren't insanely off. Her arms are in, okay, her arms are insanely off, but like her joints all work and they fit six out of 10 into the sockets on the first go. So I'm not too mad about that. I think the hands are too big, but um, yeah, her head moves. Um, she leans, she leans forward. Um, I actually really like the body for now, except for the, again, the insanely long arms. But um, I don't know, I think she turned out pretty cute. I mean, for like two hours worth of work, I'm not too mad about it. Like, yeah. All right, well, if you would like to see me like finish this doll or like at least give her some more work and like maybe carve her a little more, add some more clay, um, maybe redo the head so it doesn't look so much like hollow, but also without eyes that I can't take out. That might be a good move, but uh, let me know down in the comments. If you're already subscribed to my channel, thanks so much for subscribing. If you're new here, I hope you like the content and will consider subscribing. As always, I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.